kid and you're asking like, what do we do about is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you more than 30 years i got my real estate license in the um, and your your origin story is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna use that kuka you know I, i'm a little more strict with what i'm i'm looking at uh all right hey everybody here we are at the detroit uh real estate biz expo here now, who is next to me is this tall, <laughs> handsome guy over here. I mean, I, I look like a shorty over here. Let me get lost. I mean, there you go. <laughs> so, all right. Now, over here, I'm going to tell you, we got Dexter. Okay, I'm going to switch hands real quick. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. All right, I'm going to switch hands here. All right, so we got Dexter. Uh, what, what's your last name? Dexter Jenkins. Dexter Jenkins. Okay. And see, I'm, I'm so short, I was cutting off his head there. Now, we got Dexter Jenkins over here saying, you know, he was just, we were just having a great conversation about some of the issues he was having in some of his his investments. And I'm going to tell you, I had to get out on camera, so I kind of like stopped him mid sentence. <laughs> all right. And I'm like, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to record this. All right. We're going to record this for the channel here. All right. So tell me, let, let's go back to where are your investments? What are they? Okay. Well, I first, first of all, I'm in Boston, Massachusetts, and so I am a uh, real estate entrepreneur. So I fix and flip. I've done some wholesaling, okay. um, mostly buy and hold, and then I also do a lot of project management consulting. So the, the so three projects I'm working on right now, my wife and I are project management consulting, and so I was telling Randy here about the challenges of our business now because you have to recognize that there will be challenges, but it's your decision to become wealthy. It's going to carry through the challenges. So right now we're dealing with one where our contract, we're on a contract that just died in the middle of the work. Oh Seven God. unit property that needs to be finished. Oh my. Uh, it's probably about a, it's a million dollar rehab and the contractor that we had died. So now we're in the middle of getting a new contractor and doing this so on and so forth. So in this business, like we, Randy and I were talking, you, you have never arrived and school is always in session. <laughs> That is 100% right. 100%. School is insane. So, so, the, so the knowledge you have now, 12 months from now, if you continue to, to progress and do things such as Randy and other people talk to you about, you'll, you, you, you'll be a lot further along than you are right now. Awesome. That's really, really great advice. I'm going to tell you that that's awesome because, you know, you learn from every mistake that you do, okay? Um, but not only that, but just to the challenges that you come in. Exactly. Okay, it's not even a mistake. You don't even have to make a mistake, but there's challenges that come life in happens. every day. Life happens. Life, life, happens. life happens. I mean, who out there has had a contractor die? I've, I've never had a contractor die in the middle of a, a rental, thank God. But it was one of those things where, you know, I talked to the guy, Randy, on Monday. Oh, my God. We're on the phone Monday, and then the person I'm con uh, consulting with said, Dexter, did you hear that such and such died? This was Thursday. Oh, wow. So it was just that quick. I'm like, what are you talking? I'm just talking to him on Monday. You know, had massive heart attack. You know, so we're in the middle of a, a, a million dollar rehab. Now check this out, Randy. Yeah. This property, when we're done with, it, will be worth about five million. Okay. So you, you and, can't stop. And, and, and I got a question. If you don't mind going over the numbers yeah, for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's talk I, about it. Okay. So yeah, because, let's, let's, because this is this is a, a great teaching tool. So. All right, uh, Eddie. Eddie, record this. <laughs> I, I, I have my I have my nephew over here, Eddie. He's also he's recorded. Too. He's working too. Okay. So 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 my my client inherited the property. His grandmother bought it for thirty thousand. Okay. Please tell. Did you buy it for thirty thousand? <laughs> no, he didn't buy. No, I didn't okay. buy it. So I, like, like I said, I'm consulting on this one. Yep. Okay. Um, because he, he's guy with the church with, so I'm helping him out. So anyway, he inherited for thirty thousand his his okay. grandmother back in like nineteen eighty. Okay. Got it. Yep. And so now, when when we start to go to work on it, he yep. had he had offers from developers to buy it as was for three, I mean for three million. Three million as, as is. Was, and, and it was dilapidated, needed everything. So what we decided to do was, we're okay. going to fix it up. So yep. by the time he's done with it, it'll be worth five million. Uh huh. But then also the cash flow will be around eighteen thousand dollars a month will be coming in off of the property. 
Okay. So do the numbers. He inherited for thirty thousand. Uh huh. He's gonna he's gonna it'll be worth five million. Yep. And then the cash flow of the property will be about about eighteen thousand a month. About eighteen thousand dollars a month. Right. Okay. I, I wish I could make that. I'll 18, tell you that. Right? A month. So, so so when we're done, he'll probably have a mortgage of about one point seven or so. Okay. But probably worth five million. So you so yep. you got tons of equity, right? Tons of equity. And you got tons of cash flow. So he'll pay it off in three or four years and then everything after that will be just will, will just be gravy. gravy. So what I told him, I said I, I said, This is your golden goose. Yes. That you will continue to draw off. I said, because if you want to, now we can refinance, take money out, yep. go get other properties, you know, and so. It's, they, a, it's called generational wealth. Generational wealth. So his, his he has like three children. So that's what we're talking about. I said, man, yep. we, we got to pull them in because they got to know how this works because yes. we want this to not just die with us, but, but we want to continue to move, go forward. Most definitely. And I will say this is people don't understand that this generational wealth it will last generations as long as people don't screw it up so you have to educate those children it's 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 about because I, I just i just did a youtube video on that i said i said three things that we need we need to leave behind for the next generation so number one a positive example yes more is caught than taught yep got it number two we gotta leave them knowledge Yes. Right. And then number three, resources. So to the point of if I just give you something, but I don't give you the knowledge on how to uh, uh, how to take care of it, yep. how to make it grow. And then more importantly, how to pass on to the next generation. It dies. Most definitely. You know, that's that's the thing is, is, you know, like I said, I, I preach as much on this channel about education right. for the younger generation. Right. Okay, because if we don't have education, we have nothing. Right. Now, one thing that my father taught me when I was younger, okay, he was not a rich man by any means. Right. He was a poor man. Unfortunately, I hate to say that, but his mindset was that you gain knowledge. Knowledge is power. They can never take your knowledge away from you, okay? And I've taken that to the grave. Obviously, not to the grave because I'm still alive. <laughs> so I've taken that to his grave. Unfortunately, he's passed away. But 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 it's the thing of but he he's lived through me. Thank you. He lived and, through and, me. And, and, and I think that's what a parent wants to do. They want their children to live better than them. One hundred percent. So they lay a foundation, and then we build off of that. You know. One hundred percent. And I strive to be better than my father was. But at the same point, I'm proud of my father. Of course. I'm proud of him, and I'm proud of everyone out there. So I'm making it a point to teach as much of this education as possible. Okay. So. Everyone out there, stay tuned. I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have this guy on the channel because it's great talking to him. So I need to have like an hour with him. Period. All right. So stay tuned. We will get in contact with him. I got his business card and go from there. All right. So there's gonna be a lot more people here. We're gonna cover a lot more. Uh, thank you and see you on the next one. And you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your, your origin story. Is that he, uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh,